And welcome back folks, welcome back to this let's play of Crash Bandicoot 2. I'm Supersonic SJM and we last left off, we were halfway through this warp world, so, well, approximately halfway. So we're going to dive straight into it, starting with Cold Hard Crash. Now then, last of the ice levels this one, so... It's also not a polar level as well, so it's the last of the platforming ice levels. Shouldn't prove overly difficult, except for maybe one little section, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Nice shot. I'll just uh, have these. Thank you. Just make my way back again. Chars. Hmm, could have sworn that was in direct line with that penguin, but never mind. Just wait for these seals to just sail on past. We'll, uh, okay, we'll take him out. And that's the first section done already. Nice, quick progress. I like it. Okay. Nice. Supposed to be easy challenge there, but never mind. Okay, same again. Just skid on through. That's how that's supposed to come off. Okay. Just quickly clear these boxes. You want to go straight to the top one first, because obviously you can't reach that top question mark without hitting these ones first. That's just me being greedy, getting more one fruit. I'm going to just quickly... Just clear the way before I uh, take this bonus round. Come on, one, two, three. All right, let's go. Now, there is a hidden box in this bonus round, which I will show you when we get there. But for now, if you're looking to be, as I say, quite greedy and get loads of Wumper Fruit, just carefully aim your jumps. Cool, we've got all the boxes there. We'll just take that. Just gonna quickly, because I've just realized my tablet is not on mute. There we go. Don't want it disrupting us. Right, so those TNTs are, are done. Okay, so it's here that we need to find the hidden box. So if you skid and then, there we go. Make sure you jump on top of that box first because there is a hidden question mark box above it. If you've got that, then we are golden, my friends. Just carefully take these boxes. Preferably without disturbing the TNT. Cool, that's all of them done. Just detonate these. Nice. Okay. Activate this one at the end first because the others won't reach. Then hit that one. And when you're done, you should have a total of 31 boxes. If you've got 31, you've got them all. Right. Take out this little guy. Activate that switch at the same time. Okay. Now we want to try and keep this max, uh, max, this mask for the next bit because it will make it somewhat easier. The next bit being a death path. We're not going to go forward just yet. We're going to take the death path. We're going to see if we can 100% this in one run. But it will mean doing this bit twice. And given how this bit is pretty difficult, even at the best of times, that's not something I'm looking forward to. But I digress. Just make sure 
Although given I'm doing this twice, I don't know why I'm kind of double checking. But make sure you've got all eight boxes behind there. Take these ones as well. Okay. What I tend to do here is let this little guy run about. Like so. Take him out. Quickly jump, take him out. And then you should have a clear run at this box which gives you invincibility as I say this now makes this bit miles easier as long as you don't do that because all you get are either crushers or nitro which means we can take the gem but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump down this hole why because we're gonna go back to the checkpoint I took before we took the death path so it means I've now got that gem that was at the end of the path, but as I said, we now have an opportunity to redo this bit. And the reason for that is there are still boxes before that other checkpoint we came across that we have to collect to get the box gem. It's a bit of a devious one and it's, um, it's something that wasn't popular with players originally because you would have had to have played multiple times to have got the box gem and you wouldn't have known that you would have had to do both routes to get it. So it probably took a lot of people, quite a few playthroughs back in the day. Screwed that one up, didn't I? Let's try that again. So yeah, it, it took quite a few people a few playthroughs of this level back, back in the day to work out how to get the, the box gem. Which aggravated them to no end I'm sure but if you do it the way I've just done and provided you don't mess it up like I've just done then theoretically you should be able to do this entire level in one run that was interesting okay that's all those Take him out, take him out. Okay. So, this is the thing now. You're gonna watch me try and take this next section without invincibility. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. So, if you gently walk to the end of this steel crate, that activates the first icicles. Take out the seal. And then they drop. So very carefully, just jump over that. You can run through that normally. Jump through. Okay, you want to take this section fairly slowly. Or you could do that. Make sure they drop without touching it. And then just screw it up like that, just for added effect. Let's try that without messing up now, shall we? Okay, it is quite difficult without the invincibility, this this isn't easy, so hopefully it won't take too many tries, but we shall see. Okay, cool, got that. Nice, reclaim my life, okay. Let him run by. Okay, one, two. Got our little protection there. Right. So we'll gently just, that's it. And then, cool. Over, through, over, through, 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 over, through, never mind. Okay, now we're going to head back again. Cool. Okay, a little bit easier this time because we took out some of these nitros. Nice. Okay, that's 
the mainly difficult bit done. Ooh, that was a bit close. Right, so we're almost back at the start now. That switch activates this box here, giving us a life. And that's it, we're back at the start. So, jump back on the platform. Brings us back down to the checkpoint. And then we can carry on this way, so... Grab those, grab those. Yep, want that life, thank you. Can't be bothered with the bouncy box. Took way too long in that uh, death section. I'd rather just try and clear off if possible. Okay. He then says after or before taking these bouncy boxes. Never mind. That was not really intentional. Uh, but this TNT will do us a favour. Because it'll take out that little penguin there. Okay, skid on through. And you can time that as one straight run. Also take out that little hedgehog before he even starts attacking. Nice checkpoint, so we don't have to do that hard path again. There we go, that's better. Okay, there are four switches here, so make sure you grab all four. I'm just being Wumpa Fruit greedy again. Okay. So, activating those four boxes. Oh, switches rather, we'll activate these four boxes. Take him out. Cool. Nice 120 boxes so far. I'd say we're making it through quite nicely. Of the original trilogy, just as a little fun fact, uh, this level has the most boxes. And I think it's the longest level as well. So if you ever ever uh, let's try that again. If you're ever able to beat this level, give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, we're gonna skid on through, grab that life. Come on, just three more, two more. Nice. Okay, 128, and then when we jump down here. This is where the hard path led us to. So you can see by doing what I've done, this allows us to complete the level in its entirety. And hopefully walk away with a nice extra gem to add to our collection. Cool. Just wait for him to turn around, because then I can Go straight in for the kill. Now, honestly, these three boxes are a little bit of a pain in the ass because that happens. It doesn't even lower the box for you to make it easier. But it is what it is, I guess. Cool. So we're now very close to the end. And if I'm not mistaken, once I've gotten out of that little alcove there, that should be the last of the boxes. So, just make our way over this pit, and we have another gem on our hands. And that, my friends, is how you do that level in one playthrough. Now we get to marvel at our spoils. So sweet! Okay, moving on. So as I said last time, the uh, levels we had left are all double gem levels, so... I sense more hard paths ahead. 
However, we've got the first of those two levels, which is the second ruin level of the game now. So we're in Ruination. So you'll remember this one from the third warp world. Oh, that was a bit close. That could have ended quite badly. Note to self, always be careful at the start of this level. Cool, right. Now, this is an interesting little trap. I wonder if I do this. Nope! Fine game. If that's how you want to play things, let's play. Cool. Try that again, shall we? So, take this little guy out, grab that box. Thought occurs to me, I probably now don't have the hard path, but we'll see. I tell you what, because with that like, because we're that into the level, we'll just quit out, we'll go back in, and then we've reset the plate. It's not going to take me that far to get to where I am. Just go straight back in again. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Nice. Okay. Next one. There we go. He's out of my way now as well, which is cool. That's better. Right. First checkpoint. So if you time this right, you do that. So much for restarting that level. I'm just gonna. We'll see if it actually does require one life for the uh, the death path before I, because I don't want to really be ducking out and back in again all the time. Um... Oh snap! That was a complete waste of a mask. Having said that, I now apparently don't need to uh, come out and back in. Although that was interesting, I didn't do the warp effect back in. Okay, this could be uh, an annoying one. Because I hate those gorillas with a passion. Okay. Oh, come on! I'm just gonna... One, two... No! This could take a while. I'm not warping back in, that's really weird. It's not doing the warp effect. Oh, I really wish I could get this timing down. I'll get it. I've got 45 lives to get it, but I'll get it. Eventually. Oh, come on! Really? What have I got? That's probably going to get me maybe a further step, if that. Oh, 
Right, get out. He's probably more like him. Okay, note to self. Wait for the flames to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam's suck compilation at Crash Bandicoot. There! Why couldn't you have done that in the first place? And again! Oh, not quite far forward enough. What have we got? We're getting there. We're getting there. Really? What have we got? One time I managed to do it. Get out. May that hopefully be for the last time. Oh, right now I breeze through that bit. You know what? Oh, come on! What have we got? Why is the depth perception on that bit so tricky? There we go. Okay. Seriously? What have we got? Oh, behave. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be where you see my first game over. Oh, come on! That's nearly as bad as Pill Collision. Oh, do you know what? Don't care. Get out. Get out. There we go. So close to raging. What have we got? So close to raging right now. Come on. That's right, get out. Okay. Just keep on top of these platforms. Remember, you can slide off them. Okay. The fact we're now coming back on ourselves, I would hope, means that we are getting close to the gem. Having the mask is a good sign. Cool, there's the gem. Now I'm going to do something that is a little bit unexpected. Because we know there's no boxes down this route. So I'd rather we came back here just to kind of make sure that we don't miss anything. And funnily enough, there's a bonus round. So I'm kind of glad I did that now. Right. 
up we go. That was horrendous. No, I won't be editing those out either. You can revel in my misfortune. Oh, seriously? Really? Okay, do you know what? Because that's just... It's wrong! It's wrong! It's wrong! So I get the feeling... What should have happened... Was that... Oi! Right, try this again. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm gonna get this right. Because I want those boxes. And this is totes ridiculous. Right, back up. Oi! Get up. We're gonna stand on this box and then we're gonna... SERIOUSLY! For real?! Hang on. One of those was a checkpoint earlier, I'm sure. Ugh. Right, can you do it this time without... Oh, no, 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 no. Someone's going to be putting in the comments, Oh, I know how to do this, it's dead easy. Yeah, well, didn't ask you. Meh. How? Why? What the hell? I wonder, can you do it from the middle? What happens if I'm stood here? Will I hit all four rows? Yes, right. Thank God for that. Hear someone saying, I knew that all along. Right. That was just. That was almost traumatizing. Bloody hell. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what? Right. Just make sure that doesn't hit me. Okay. Oh, this is going to be annoying. I'm a safe. No, we're not. Wow. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that goes to show don't go counting your chickens before they've hatched. Because that's just. Wow. I'm actually, I'm, I'm quite aggravated at that. In fact, I'm really aggravated at that. I can't believe that just happened. The thinnest of gaps. Come on. 
Right, do this again. Interesting. Now we've done it. Thank. Oh. Ugh. I'm gonna have a bloody aneurysm or something before this is done. I don't care. I really don't care. I spun away the wumper fruit. Sue me. Oh wow. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes, that was how I saw it in the first place. Come on. Whatever. I'm only materialising a few foot to my left. Right, right even. Not left. Oh. anymore I just want to get out of here with all my gems that didn't quite work to plan that did though okay come back around again come back around again Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Cool. This is just awful. This is horrible. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Do you know what? I don't care. I'm out of here. 84. Whoa. That was a trial and a half. One more level. I really don't care about your little dance. Right, this is the last level. It's also the last colour gem of the game that we need to acquire. So, let's not hesitate. Let's just make sure I've got everything first. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Right, behaving. Or be having. However you want to pronounce it, I think it's meant to be behaving. To be on the pun of behaving. I don't know anymore. This level is the second one that is like digging it. That enemy there that I just spun away. Be careful with him if he's on this patch of land because that is the only way you can die while on this patch of land. For example, there he is. And that was not what I was expecting to happen, but somehow it did. Yeah, we're just going to dive under here, thank you. You can also not do that. I was just showing you for demonstrative purposes. Totally, you know, knew that was going to happen. I give up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just stay out of my way, please. Mm. 
Okay, checkpoint. Nice. Great. Let's just, uh... Oh! Apparently, Crash has a beasting allergy. Yeah, suck it. How many? 23. Okay, let's carry on. Do you know what? Do you know what? Quite frankly, my my performance in these last two levels has been appalling. I, just, I can't bear it anymore. I'm going to warp to a secret area. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is a secret area. Do not let the nitro deceive you. It leads to the purple gem. If I remember correctly, there are no boxes in that area. However, for the sake of pertinence, we will test that theory. After all, no harm in trying to complete it, is there? Except maybe to my own sanity. Anyway. Yeah, you can stand on any one of these nitros, they're fine. Just take that top one. You'll notice they don't bounce. Um, that's the... Seriously! Anyway, that's the indicator that they are indeed uh, inactive and that you can just moosey on up them. Ay ay ay. Okay. Try this again, shall we? Get out. That means I can now take out this dude. Wow, what is this? Oh, that was so close. That was so close. I could actually feel Crash's fur trembling at touching that nitro. Oh, seriously? I'm getting the feeling the only boxes in that section are nitros. Do you know what? Because I don't want to be spending all day doing this. We're just going to avoid it. We've got the purple gem. We're good. Let's just... Ah! Oh, I could see the checkpoint in the distance. I could see it right there. Stop wall hugging, mate. Right. That was interesting. Oh. That might not have been a problem had I have hit that in the first place.
Okay. Oh! Give me a mask. Give me a mask. Thank you. Right. There we go. See how far a mask gets us this time. Right. Sod off. You can sod off as well. Oh, I really... I don't have time. I really don't. This is just... I'm not fussed for those enemies, I'm really not. I'd rather just get through the level safely at this point. And believe me, I take solace in the fact at the moment I'm in a bonus round of all places. At least you know if I die here it's not gonna cost me anything. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Nope! Too far! Overshot it! Get in! Alright, come on. Right. That's better. Okay. Off we go. Yeah, get lost. Ollie, get lost. You wanna play that game with me? You really do? Get lost. Oh, oh, now we're at the exit? Serious? that. When I finish this level, ha! Oh. Get out. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Turns out there isn't any boxes in that secret room. So you could literally grab the purple gem, die and get out of there. That's very good for speedrunning, I guess. Oi, oi, oi. Now we come to our fourth boss. Who is quite a hard one. Because you need to have good aim. Sort of. You'll see. Crash! I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nectris Rio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Rio was responsible for our 
misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, crack. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to Angel. Hmm. We know what happened in that first game. And we know that that was a complete load of rubbish. Engine can do one. Like Dr. Cortex said, give them 20 crystals you have collected from me. So, you don't spin in this level. You can see I'm firing Wumper Fruit. Which at the moment is doing nothing. However, in the sections that flash, they are flashing white whenever we hit them. Oh boy! Just avoid his weapons at the same time. So when it starts to do that, that means it's nearly destroyed. And a few more hits takes it out. Okay, need it to line up, thank you. Yep. Oh, that was close. So you can see there, that one's nearly down. And it's out. Three more hits. So the next two are his shoulders, which house missiles like that. So we now need to watch the shadows. Wasn't there, clearly didn't react in quick enough time, so we'll try that again, shall we? Sadly, you do have a limited rate of fire with your Wumper Fruit as well. <clears throat> Trying to be a bit clever there. Okay, that's one arm down, and he didn't even get the chance to fire it. Next arm. No, line it up with me, please. Ah! This may take a few tries. This is a very, very difficult boss. Okay, that's one arm down. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, one arm down already. If you hit square quick enough, you can just time enough Wumper Fruit to hit it just in time to take it out. Okay. Open it up again. That's that one down. Right, back to his shoulders. Safe there. Okay. He moves around quite a lot in this phase, so. Go. Yep, yeah, safe here. That's good. Okay, I get the feeling it's going to be the middle. No, it's not! Just keep an eye on those shadows on the floor. There we go. That's one shoulder down, that should make things a little bit easier.
get out. Come on, come on. Yeah, when he's got one shoulder left, the missile starts to do that. Now at this point, he brings out a laser from his gut. You've got to be wary because he'll do that. So you maybe get an opportunity to fire a couple of shots. But if you time it well enough... We'll be very displeased with your resistance. Prepare to suffer his wrath. You get a little rant from Engine. Crystals crash and bring them to me. We will do that, sort of. Because as you can tell at this moment, he's not entirely genuine. But we will continue this in the next episode. We're going to leave it here. So, thanks very much for watching, all guys, everyone. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!